Man, those jingles never get old. Welcome to Popeye. Or should I say, welcome to Popeye no Aigo Asobi. I apologize for my Japanese. I am not Japanese. I am a pasty white man. This is a teaching tool. It is meant to teach Japanese kids how to speak English. It was never released in the US, which is why I'm playing a Japanese version of the game. This would be the first Japanese exclusive game, aka the first Famicom game we are covering on this show. But let me show you how this works. Let's start with food. Did I mention I was a pasty white guy? I'm also a fat pasty white guy. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so, what's going on is this is basically Hangman. You're going to pick a letter, like so, and it's wrong. Every time it's wrong, Blue is going to hit that punching bag. If the baby, Sweet Pea, I think is his name, falls off, you lose. Plain and simple. <sighs> That's two for two. How about C? Is it cheese? Cheese? Nope, not cheese. Got an L. Can I buy a vowel? Not that vowel. That vowel? Celery. 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 Alright. And then it keeps going until you've done ten in a row. So I'm going to do the ten in a row the 10 in a row and hopefully I can entertain y'all while I'm doing this. So I figured I'd do this game. I skipped a couple. I've skipped over a couple of board games and the original Mario Brothers. The reason is I'd rather show you guys those games using their multiplayer components and I can't do that right now. Um, I don't have the equipment available, and I don't have the friend available, <laughs> so I will be doing that at a later date. For now, I'm just going to, uh, move on. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible here. I'm just going to move on and hopefully find a way to entertain you guys with... It's raisin, okay, with the non-multiplayer stuff, because I think the multiplayer stuff is going to be fun. Just, it'll be different. It'll be more off the cuff. It'll be more random, because I, you know, there'll be somebody else involved. Uh, but hopefully that will happen for you guys soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I also told you guys that I was going to be doing the potato, there we go, I was going to be doing the arcade version of this game, that won't be happening for a while, I've been having issues with that too, uh, it still looks great, it... Honestly, it plays a little bit stiffer than the NES version, in my opinion. I prefer the NES version. I think, despite not looking as good, it's more fun. And hopefully I can show you guys that soon as well. But this game, as you can see, is nowhere near as entertaining as the other one, and that's because it's educational. School is never fun, unless you're a nerd. Like I was, I liked school, so I take back that school was never fun comment. Uh, that was a lie, I apologize. I will try not to lie to you guys again. <laughs> you know what is, you know what I think I liked about this game? There is a defined goal to it. 
like, there's a goal in every level besides just to get to the end. And I like that a lot. I really cannot wait until I get to games with an actual ending that I can show you guys. Because I much prefer games with actual endings instead of this open-ended stuff. I just... That's just how it always is. I've never liked... Hey, there's a question mark. I just noticed that. Is that a hint? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, it's not a hint. It just gives you the answer. That's lame. Hey, but apparently you can skip to the next one. I guess if you didn't have a way to look at the answer, it wouldn't be an effective teaching tool now, would it? Uh, so, there's also a game called Family Basic. So, when the Famicom was released, Nintendo released a bunch of well, not a bunch, but Nintendo released a bunch of Japan-exclusive games that taught you how to do stuff. Family Basic taught you how to program in BASIC. It taught you how to use computers. The problem, however, is that it's only in Japanese. I have no way of figuring out how to use it unless I speak the language or find a way to patch English into the game. So that is going to be a while off as well. Oh my god, I... Uh, what is this? No? Um... Oyster. Okay, oyster. Uh, so though... Those might be skipped as well. If they are, I'll let you know. If they're not, obviously you'll know. But I figured since there's not much to this game, this would be a good opportunity to let you guys know what's going on with those. For now, though, I'm just going to try to do the last two and then show you why I can't do the third optional mode in this game. And I will move on to the next game, which I think will be about as entertaining as this is. But who knows? Maybe you guys will like watching this, and I'm totally wrong. Yogurt? Is it yogurt? It's yogurt. Okay. Yogurt. Sweet. Yes, I get it. It's yogurt. <laughs> One more. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, those are definitely hearts. In the arcade version, it starts off with her going, Help me, Popeye! And then she blows you a kiss. And that heart comes out of, out of her mouth. So those are definitely hearts. And she's definitely blowing you a kiss. Uh, cabbage? Nope. We already got cabbage once, I got. I, I guess. Uh, caviar? Caviar. Sweet. So, this mode is easy to play even if you don't speak Japanese because it's just hangman. You know, I never played a full round of that. Will it bring me to the city next? Nope, it won't. Okay. World Puzzle B is just the same thing, but I think a little bit harder. So the third round is going to be Word Catcher. Now, this is impossible to do unless you can read Japanese or are just really, really good at guessing. Because... There are three Japanese words on the left side of the screen there that you have to spell. 
and if you can't spell them, if you, if you can't spell the words that are on the left side of the screen in English, then you will not be able to move on. Also, as you can see, I'm moving Bluto there. This game is multiplayer only. This round, I mean, this round, well, actually, I guess it's a different game, too. But this particular game is multiplayer only. Again, I would have preferred to show that off in Japanese. Uh, I'm sorry, in two-player. Proper two-player. But I can't, because I can't read Japanese. So, unless I find a Japanese friend who is kind enough to translate for me, um, that's not gonna happen. So anyway, thanks for listening. I'll be back again with more educational fun. Bye!